We'll now start talking about quality. We'll be covering three modules that is all about embedding quality into the processes. Learning three new Japanese words and principles. Jidoka, Pokeyoke and Andon. Let's get into it. Jidoka provides machines and operators with the ability to detect when a defect has occurred and immediately stop work. This enables quality to be embedded into each process. Jidoka is another Japanese word, and its best translation is automation with human intelligence. This is because it gives equipment the ability to distinguish good from bad parts autonomously without being monitored by an operator. This eliminates the need for operators to continuously watch machines and leads in turn to large productivity gains because one operator can handle several machines, often termed multi-process handling. Let's compare two machines, one without Jidoka and one with Jidoka. For this example, if the spheres turn red in colour, then that represents a defect and green represents a good quality part. The machine without Jidoka, if left unsupervised, will not be able to detect defects, so will continue processing, leading to a high level of rework. The one with Jidoka can still produce a defect, but when it does, will detect an abnormal condition and stop the processing. This has the huge benefit, apart from just quality, of allowing equipment to operate unsupervised. This is an important part of Lean, involving people and respecting people, besides the huge cost savings of removing operators from machine minding, I personally believe it's our duty as Lean practitioners to upskill staff and take them away from these mundane roles where they simply watch a machine and wait for a problem, or complete repetitive, boring tasks like simply loading and unloading machines. This is where Jidoka comes in. Jidoka highlights the causes of problems because work stops immediately when a problem occurs. This leads to improvements in the process that build in quality by eliminating the root cause of the defects. The concept of Jidoka originated in the early 1900s when Sakichi Toyoda, founder of the Toyota Group, invented a textile loom that stopped automatically when a thread broke. Previously, if a thread broke, the loom would churn out mounds of defective fabric, so each machine needed to be watched by an operator. Toyota's invention let one operator control many machines. In Japanese, Jidoka is a Toyota-created word, pronounced exactly the same, and written almost the same, as the Japanese word for automation, but with the added connotations of humanistic and with human-like features. Jidoka is all about quality, and more specifically, identifying errors as soon as possible and preventing them from repeating. If we cast our minds back to the history of Lean module, that was one of the biggest differences between mass production and Lean manufacturing. Lean puts an emphasis on quality and the prevention of rework. So why is rework such a problem? Well, the further a product moves away from the source of the problem, Firstly, the less chance the root of the problem will be found, and secondly, the more costly the rework will be. Imagine you go to an ice cream van and ask for three scoops of vanilla ice cream, with toffee sauce and sprinkles on top. If a mistake is made, and the first scoop of ice cream is incorrect, if you detect that problem straight away and inform the operator, they can easily remove it and carry on with little hassle and little extra cost. As the process goes on, the difficulty and cost of rework starts to increase. If you only spot the problem once all the processes have been completed, it is almost impossible to rework. The ice cream will have started to melt, the sprinkles will be very hard to remove, and the cone is likely starting to go soggy. The ice cream may well have to be scrapped. The same is the case with other processes in real life. It is very important to identify and prevent repeat problems as soon as possible. The cost of rework increases the further through a system you progress. Just like many other Lean tools, Judoka also has intangible benefits. 
The biggest of these is a shift in mindset. Judoka helps introduce the idea that it is okay to stop the production in order to find and eliminate the root causes of a defect. The goal should never be to control defects, it should be to prevent them. Anything to do with defects is muda. The inspection process is not value adding. The customer isn't willing to pay for a team of inspectors to go round weeding out the defects, only to spend more resource rectifying issues, reworking products and managing the entire rework process. These costs ultimately become added onto the cost of the product. Instead, why not strive to embed quality into processes and remove all this waste? Instead of controlling and managing defects, let's eliminate them. This brings me on to the next topic relating to quality, another Japanese word, something we'll cover in the next module called poker yoke.